Since the dawn of modern zoology itself, we've learned a lot about the world around us. But despite our knowledge, there is still one question no zoologist can answer. Have you actually ever seen the color blue? Because that is not a blue animal. Today, we're looking for one of the most variable rattlesnakes in the world, the speckled rattlesnake. This toxic little rattlesnake comes in a crazy amount of colors, from white to pink to blue. Yeah, for some reason they call this blue. Don't ask me, I just work here. To search for these incredible snakes, we'd have to head over to central Arizona, through the vast open deserts, and into one of the harshest ecosystems around, the mountain crags. Now, speckled rattlesnakes are about the most variable rattlesnake species you can find out here. Now, in this area, they're gonna have a bluish gray tinge, a very gorgeous coloration, but you can find them red, orange. I've even seen some with greenish tinge or even black. What we're gonna be doing is shining along these rock cuts right along the lowland area. It's kind of where the lowland meets the crag. They're not necessarily a common species, so we'll see what we can do. These snakes are specialized to be the same colors as the rocks they live on, relying on mostly camouflage to ambush their prey. But one thing's for sure, they're definitely not the only rattlesnakes hanging on these cliff sides. Yeah, I'll let you go anyway. And that's the kind of stuff that they're living in. But that's not the rattlesnake we're after tonight. We're after the speckle. It lives in similar stuff to this. It's gonna be coming and sitting on these rock ledges, sitting on top of brush, sitting virtually anywhere in a crag habitat. Another species that'll do that is tigers. Tigers like to sit up on the rock walls. I mean, I guess they both do. Great looking snake. I'm sure we're gonna see a ton of them on this trip, but it doesn't make them any less special. Western diamond. Yes! That is our speck. Holy smokes, we can see. Hey, baby. Beautiful rattlesnake, yes! This is what I refer to as a blue phase, speckled rattlesnake. She doesn't like the vibration of my voice. Ooh, it's okay. All the snakes are really well heated up tonight. I gotta be careful. She probably got a little hole right back in here that she's gonna take off into. Ah, uh, this is a nice size speckled rattlesnake. Oh, you're okay. You're okay. Rattling, going off. You're okay. You're okay. Hi. Oh my goodness, hi. You're so cute. Not nearly as toxic as the tiger rattlesnake, but very similar looking and very similar in size. These snakes are not a dime a dozen out here. In fact, their populations are quite small. They're very locality specific. In fact, one of the major issues that these snakes are facing is small genetic populations getting wiped out. And they get wiped out in two different ways. They get wiped out from poaching and they get wiped out from development. And quite frankly, people don't care. People see a rattlesnake out west and they're like, it's a rattlesnake, they're everywhere. And the truth of the matter is, you're gonna have a couple dozen living in one rock wall and then that's it. That's all you've got. So if somebody comes and they take all of them, boom, they're gone. If somebody comes and kills all of them, boom, they're gone. This has got to be one of the prettiest. Absolutely stunning. Zoologists are a little bit colorblind, so they call this a blue phase. You can kind of see, this is actually almost a light blue coloration, but it's really more of a gray. It matches the rock in the surrounding areas a good bit. Now, speckled rattlesnakes, there's a lot of different localities of speckled rattlesnakes across the state. You're gonna get pink ones, you're gonna get red ones. I've seen some people post lime green ones. It's, it's a pretty variable snake. And some of them look very similar to tigers. You can kinda see, they've got a similar structure. Fat, fat build, and a nice size rattle. One thing is, if this was a gravid female, I wouldn't mess with it. I would just leave it coiled up on the rock face. Cause this time of year, these snakes are dropping their babies. And I wouldn't wanna risk in any way Anyway, messing up those babies, because that's a big deal. This adult snake has lived here for many, many years. And every single baby counts, because most of them are going to get eaten. Most of them aren't going to make it. Wow, that's, such, that's just such a great snake, man. Y'all have no idea. Specs, very non-aggressive, non-confrontational species. In fact, the first thing that these snakes do when you see them is they try to go back into their rock wall. Unlike Aatrox, unlike Mojaves, unlike all these other really moving snakes, this is a species that's very set home ranges. And it's very, very important that we keep track of them and really just appreciate them. Not enough people appreciate seeing these snakes that they even matter, that they even register to them. So they're getting wiped out constantly. Loads of the population. You might think, well, Zach, there's a thousand populations of them. Who cares about one? I do. I think it matters. I think this place matters. I think these snakes matter. I think it's a beautiful thing, and I think they're a beautiful part of our world. Just like any of the other snakes out here, 
And these guys need just a little bit more consideration on our part. The speckled rattlesnakes, the tigers, and I'll even say as far as the Mojaves and the Sidewinders in this region, they deserve just a little bit more of our attention. And if we can give them that, if we can go out of our way to respect that and just give them their spaces, give them their little home, their little crag, and their little open sandy area with their little tunnels, we'll always be able to enjoy these snakes. By the way, if you do enjoy this type of content, make sure you're subscribed, and if you want to support our work, consider checking out our Patreon. We've got plenty more rattlesnakes on the way, so hope you stick around for the adventure. This isn't an aggressive creature. While you might say, yeah, that, this is a dangerous animal, this is something that if you get bit by, you're gonna have a rough time, and that's true. But that doesn't mean we should get rid of them. And it doesn't mean that it's not a part of everything that we have out here. It's a huge part of Western culture, and I think it should stay a part of Western culture, these incredible, variable, southwestern speckled rattlesnakes. What a little beauty. An absolute score of a snake. If you guys did enjoy seeing this snake, make sure to check out the time that we found tiger rattlesnakes out in the crags as well. Really beautiful snakes then, one of the most toxic rattlesnakes in the world. And we will see you guys next time. All right, we're gonna go ahead and leave you alone. See you, baby.